Brody told me what you did, you and Tess. You used me? You used my son? No, I'm I'm his father. You just want his trust fund. That's boy. not true. I love my I son. Love I love him too. Who... Please, you know how much I need to hold him right now. Let me see my baby. Hey, you okay? Yeah, just seeing Todd in there. Just lying completely motionless. It's like he's playing some sort of sick joke on us. <laughs> I can see your uncle doing that, but this is no joke. Yeah. So just wish for once it was. I tried talking to Jack, but uh, I think he just wants to be alone with his dad. Any leads on who fired that gun? Uh, no, nothing solid. How about you? Was there anything unusual that happened around here? I had to pull my gun on somebody this morning. Who? Tomas Delgado. We mixed it up a little bit before I knew it was Tay's brother. What happened? That's all right. I already told John the whole story. Pleasant surprise. What's going on? I had to post bail. For who? Christian. Vega? Yeah, it's it's a long story, but he, everything's fine hmm. now. But I'm glad I ran into you because um, we need to talk. About what? Tomas Delgado. Beautiful, Uncle Tomas. Taya thinks you can hear us. And I'm not really sure if that's true. But if it is, Dad, I need to tell you something. You know, Shane didn't have his inhaler today. Do you know anything about that? I did something. Something really bad. Jack, what did you do? A baby? You sure worked fast, James. And there I was thinking, you were gonna wait for me. Pretty crazy, huh? Thinking we'd last forever, but your father changed all that. And then you were gone. Aren't you getting tired of arresting me and then having to let me go an hour later? Not this time. You need evidence to hold me. And since I didn't murder anybody, evidence is in pretty short supply. Not since you were caught on camera. Excuse me? Some interesting video crossed my desk. You walking out of Eddie Ford's room the night that he was shot with the murder weapon in your hand. Jessica, this, this, this whole situation is the last thing that I expected. But when you say I'm, I'm using that little boy... Are you going to go get him, or do I have to do it? This is my home and my son's. You have no rights here. I'm done arguing with you, Ford. Jessica's back. She has a right to her child, and we're taking him, with or without your permission. Wait, wait, wait I, I've already been to court over all of this. Ford, I'm Ryder's mother. He needs his mother. He needs his father, too. He never wanted to be a father. As soon as Jessica found out she was pregnant, you tried to lie your way out of responsibility. I was scared. I was wrong, okay? I, I didn't know what it would feel like to see my son and, and feel a connection that is stronger than anything I've ever felt. It woke up something in me that I didn't even know was there. I'm sure it didn't hurt that the kid was sitting on a pile of Buchanan of money. Forget the money! I wanted the right to love my son! Uh, but don't worry, you and Clint Buchanan, you you tried to make sure that I stayed as far away as possible. And that was wrong, Ford. But please. 
please, don't let Ryder suffer for something that he had... I'm not trying to let Ryder suffer. I'm trying to take care of him. I know. You, you have, because Tess sure wasn't, right? Look, you said you know how it feels to be kept from your son. Don't do that to me. Please. If you have a heart, please. I'll go get him. Face it, it's over. I came all this way, spent all my money, for nothing. I wasn't talking to you, or him. I was talking to Dad. Well, you were going to tell him something. Why, why was it so bad? I, I cut school, OK? I went to one class and just bailed the rest. That's it. Mom's going to freak. She made a huge deal about me going. Jack, I'm sure she'll understand. How could you concentrate? How could we think about anything when Dad is like this? I'm sure Danny didn't listen to a word her teacher said today in class. Danny should be here. No, don't give her a call. No, don't. Don't call Danny. What you were playing just now, what's that called? Uh, I haven't decided yet. You mean you wrote that? Yeah. So you're a composer and a painter and a black belt? You know, I wouldn't be too impressed by that. A lot of people say that I should stick to one thing. Like your mom. She stuck to the law, now she's a brilliant attorney. But me? I'm a dabbler. Dabblers never get to the Supreme Court. I'm gonna get a drink. Can I get you something? Uh, no, thank you. I was actually just looking for Blair. Me too. Why don't you wait with me? I'd kind of like to spend more time with you. Have you all to myself for a while. You want to talk about Delgado. I believe the last time we did that, you resented some of my questions. Well, that was before I walked in on Delgado and Todd's room. Doing what? That's what I wanted to know. He said he was just trying to get to know Todd better. That's kind of weird, mm -hmm. especially since Todd's in a coma. Maybe he thought because Todd didn't have him up against a wall that he could see him differently. I think I caught him off guard when I walked in, and I, I don't know, John, I just kind of got a strange feeling. How strange? Is there something that I should know about Tomas Delgado? We ran his name through the system. Well, is there anything in his past that points to him shooting Todd? I know John interviewed you about Tomas. I was just following up. But then you heard about the whole martial arts thing. Right. I never expected to end up on the floor. Tomas knocked you on the floor? So you didn't talk to John? No, uh, John and I really aren't speaking much lately. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I'm sure you know why. I know you guys were supposed to get married and you didn't. Yeah, because he couldn't forgive me for making him believe that Brody's baby is his. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm scared I'm gonna start crying and frighten him. He's not gonna be scared, Jess. All he's gonna see is how much you love him. And he's gonna be as happy as I am. You expect me to believe that the Minuteman Motel has surveillance cameras? What do you think I'm bluffing? I think a place like that survives by not keeping records, so, uh, no. They didn't take photographs, not that night or any night. Well, you're right. They didn't. But someone who was shooting an adult film on the premises did. And you walked right through one of the scenes without even knowing. Officer, would you like to uh, do the honors? I bet you never thought you'd end up in a triple X rated movie. Huh? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm oh, so where sorry. are you going? You oh my God, could this day get any worse? Hey, hey, you know, um, 
<laughs> it's, it's nothing to cry about. As a matter of fact, I, I, you know, I know how you feel. You know, I'm having one of those days myself. You know, but hey, but tomorrow's gonna be better, right? Are you are you coming or going? Going. Well, too bad. You're gonna miss that world famous flan at the Buenos Dias. I only had the pie. No wonder you're crying. Unless there's another reason for those tears. Do not tell me that it is over some dude. Why shouldn't I call Danny? She's not... She's not really family. She's our sister. Half-sister. What's going on? Did you and Danny have a fight? Not exactly. Well, something happened, and you are going to tell me what it is. Well, we spent time together, remember? In the car, you drove me to school. <laughs> yeah, you said two words to me. Thanks and bye. Sorry. Oh, I'm not blaming you. You hardly know me. And all I really know about you is that you're terribly worried about your father. But what you said this morning to your mom, that you were positive he was going to wake up, I believed you. And sometimes faith makes miracles happen. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Uncle Tomas. Got no priors. Delgado doesn't have a record, at least not in this country. So that Euro you found at the crime scene, it wasn't important? Could be. For now, it doesn't prove that Delgado's involved. Are you still trying to connect him to the crime? I'll tell you what, when we find something out, you'll be the first to know. In the meantime... What? Maybe, um... Maybe you want to stay away from this guy? Just a little friendly ex-husband type advice? Normally, I would take your little friendly ex-husband advice and tell you to shove it. Yes, you would. But unfortunately, the last time you gave me that kind of advice, it was about Elijah Clark. So maybe you're going to listen to me this time? I'm going to give you this. Hmm. Oh. This is the photograph that um, Tomas said that he found at a flea market in Paris. The one he did the uh, portrait from? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. How does a photo of you and Manning on your wedding day end up in a flea market in Paris? I don't know, John, and I don't know if this is going to help you figure out whether Tomas shot Todd or not, but you are welcome to it. Thanks. I guess I was hoping that things between you and John weren't as bad as the woman made them sound. What woman? Phyllis? Is that her name? You watch Axis Landview? Hell no. But Destiny, she never misses it. Destiny, right, right. Natalie, some people know what it is to go the distance. But you and McBain seem like a good fit. Yeah, I thought so, too. Now he's seen Kelly Kramer. That's not good. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I really am. He's changed so much. He's beautiful. He's grown. <laughs> and I missed it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I left hey, it. Just, just don't. Don't. He must be really confused, you know, after seeing Tess for weeks. I don't think Tess spent a whole lot of time with him. I miss so much. She stole it from me like she always hey. does. Hey, we're not going to talk about Tess. She's gone. <laughs> I'm starting now. Things are the way they're supposed to be. Our, our dreams, yeah? I promise I will never leave you and our baby again. Let's go home. <laughs> Did you hear that, bud? We're gonna go home. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're not taking my son anywhere. 